Today we're gonna be installing this Mr. Cool 12K in the bedroom. So the last mini split we installed worked so good. I got a good deal on this one on Facebook Marketplace. And this is one of the DIY ones. So it's got the quick connect lines and everything on it. And it's a 12,000 BTU, higher C rating. So it should be a little bit more efficient. And yeah, it's got some other nicer features on it. So this one's roughly double the cost of the Amazon special we installed last time. So I'm very curious to see the power draw, how it all actually works and integrates, and as well as how good it actually works, you know, all that good stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and record the whole install of this, show you guys everything we do, and show you guys it running when we're all done. So that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this thing unboxed, laid out, see what we all have to, see what it all comes with, and kind of go from there. Okay, we'll start with the indoor units. So we got the indoor unit right here, a bag of random stuff, some little covers, some sort of box thing. We're gonna open all this up, see what's in it. Okay, so here's the wall bracket. Here's the line set. So we're gonna pop this off to get the line set swinging out the way. This already comes pre-wired as well. You don't have to install the cable like on the Amazon special. And yeah, it looks like it came with a lot of cable. So don't gotta worry about hooking it up to this. It's already all pre-installed. Super nice, Mr. Cool. So yeah, that's the Android, you're not nothing to it. What's nice about the Mr. Cool is it comes with the template, so you put this on the wall and it shows you exactly where to drill the hole, versus on the other one I had to kind of guess because I'm not really good at measuring. But luckily we guessed correctly. But this, we're gonna be exact. All right, this is all the stuff it comes with. Super neat, it comes with a thermostat, it comes with a smart USB stick, which I guess lets you connect it to the internet with an app or something, so that's awesome. Remote batteries, all that good stuff, a couple of goose strips, a little bit of insulation, the owner's manual and all that stuff, so a lot of good stuff here. Also the drywall anchors for the indoor unit. Oh, I didn't see you there. Well, we're gonna go ahead and open this outdoor unit. Oh, I got all the way to Moose. Oh, boy. Okay. Wow, here we go. Here's the hoses. Oh, wow. Dude, these are really long. Okay, so the cool thing about the Mr. Cool is it's got the quick connect fitting, so you don't have to evac and recharge it yourself. These are pre-evacuated lines. All you do is connect this to the indoor unit, the outdoor unit, and release the gas from the unit, and you're ready to go. So it looks like there's about 100,000 feet of it. I'll put that right there. Oh look, it comes with a sleeve, so I didn't even have to buy that $20 piece of oh, That's fine. You might still use it, I don't know. This is a wall for this. This is a good shoulder on it though. Oop. A couple of beauty rings. Some tape looking stuff. Some more tape stuff. Medical tape. Some goo. Some more tape stuff. Dang, it came with a lot of this tape stuff, so hopefully it's not trash. All right, so here's the outdoor unit. Pretty, uh, it's a little bit bigger than the other units we installed, but it is a 12,000 BTU versus a 9,000. Oh, well, here's the piss tube. This will get all the pee out of the outside unit, or I'm sorry, out of the inside unit, so that's Nash. Looks nice and long. Yeah. All right, now I'll turn the camera to face over there. I have a cameraman today, so that's gonna help a little bit. Say hi to the camera, boys. Hey, boys. All right, that was weird. The wall bracket. Oh, what the heck? Is the screw there? I'm gonna go get a thing. To oh, take just care use of. that. Hmm. All right. So we got to take this and put it up there somehow. Well, actually, we need to get the template first. Is it on 30 frames a second? All right. So first, we're gonna find the studs with the stub finder, and then. That's it, we're gonna figure out where the studs are at. We can't have this going to a stud because obviously we're gonna put a big hole there. And I'm gonna try to put it probably right about there. That's probably a good spot for it. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this kind of, probably needs a little bit of tape to hold this up and start poking some holes. All right, you can use the boss. Hey. Okay, so while we're getting the wall bracket mounted, we're also gonna go ahead and pull these out and I'll show you guys what you gotta do with them. So basically here are your refrigerant lines and your drain tube. And these are all gonna be taped together with the electrical wire kind of like so. So I'm probably gonna bend this out and then we're gonna tape all this up.
So that's for sure a stud right there. And like I said, we just have to avoid a stud. What do you mean avoid? When I put a three inch hole in the wall. Oh. I'm gonna do it like this, so it looks like you're super high up. Damn you got tall ceilings here. 16 on center is what they do studs, right? Correct. So I think we're good to put a hole right here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, it. I would I mean, that's absurdly reassuring. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. Oh. Right, no going back now. Oh, stand by. Go back now. Pink. Oh, that one's full of candy. <laughs> nice. I think I'm breathing candy. Yeah, breathe all the candy dust. Okay. And then I guess I'll go ahead and poke the hole right here. All right, so just where, did, where did you drill the holes at? So here, 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 and here, and then one right here for the hole saw. So okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. Oh, I'm getting candy in my eyes. God damn. You know what? I don't want to install this anymore. I was gonna do it on that wall, but eh, this one's fine. This one, at least I can leave the door open and it'll help blow air on the rest of the home. That's actually a really good point. Room out. Thanks for explaining how my idea is gonna work. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay, we need a hammer. Okay, for a hammer, you use a 12 gauge shotgun. Oh, what's up, Dan? PWA. I think on the other one, I only put two screws. <laughs> Don't mind that. <laughs> Does that even look level? Give me the level. We'll measure the distance of the. Yeah, it's slightly crooked the, the wrong way. See, it still has all the screws. <laughs> now, the scariest part is doing the freaking big hole in the hole. Oh, that's my favorite part. This is, this is my least favorite part. Okay, explain the bit we're using. So uh, this is uh, just a really long drill bit. And then you gotta drill it at an angle because you want the, the things to do this so it drains. If you don't do that, you'll get extremely dangerous mold growth. So I'll probably do it like that. I don't know. Bzz, I hit something. Yeah, I gotta go outside. Okay, go outside. Oh! Okay, what size is that? Three and a half inch. Three and a half inch OD? Yes. <laughs> hey, no going back now. Is that gonna go all the way through the house? Okay, there's cotton candy. Now we gotta go on the outside and do the same thing. Uh, now we're doing the outside one. Does that also need to be at an angle? <laughs> Slightly, I mean, it shouldn't really matter, but yes. Are you getting that all in your mouth? Oh yeah, it's all over you. <laughs> I'm also breathing this in. Okay, we drew the hardy backer. There's a cardboard behind this. Let's see it all out. Okay. <laughs> you have to. All right, that was probably the worst part, I think. You know what, I don't need an AC. 
I think we should give up. <laughs> now there's a hole in the side of the house. Oh, it's so hot out here. That's correct. All right, I'm gonna leave all this out here. I guess we don't need it anymore. Well, thank God. <laughs> I'm gonna leave all this out here, okay? Let's go back inside. All right, what's our update? Where are we at? All right, so brackets mounted. We got our PVC sleeve through. I like using the Schedule 40 because it's way thicker. So now we're just gonna flush cut it to the wall. And that's it. It'll be real easy to seal this up. <laughs> I go and show them the Let it stick out a little bit just to, to facilitate sealing. Now I'm gonna effing cut this. That's putting like butter. <laughs> okay, wow. that's pretty good. That's impressive. Not a bad cut. Not, not a bad not cut. A cut. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so what have we done? We mounted a bracket. We put a hole in the wall. We shoved a piece of tube through it and trimmed the ass. All right. Have to sweep after this. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the electrical tape. Hey, focus on the machine and not me. I'm gonna take some electrical tape. We're gonna bend the lines out. So carefully give these a little bit of a twist. Oh, they're made to do that. Okay, that's it. So now I'm gonna wrap this whole thing in tape, and then that's it. Shove it through. This will be ran like this. The wire will probably run on the bottom or something next to it. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I don't know if this is right, but this is how I do it. Very carefully, I'm not gonna put a lot of pressure on this thing. I don't even know if you're supposed to do this. I think you're supposed to use that white vinyl stuff. Yeah. Agreed. Okay, now I'm gonna do this. So this is gonna be wired to the outside unit. In case anyone's asking. I didn't hear anyone ask, but. In case someone asked. Dude, that's sick. It's me, Mr. Cool. Look at that, just tucked way up in the corner like that. Mm -hmm. Bro, you can't tell me that doesn't look good. That looks good. Tell me it looks good. That looks good. All right guys, so that's it. The indoor unit's inside. I do believe it's a little high up or close to the ceiling. So if you're gonna do this, make sure you put it probably a little lower, but we're just gonna run it like this. I think it'll work just fine. And yeah, now we're gonna go outside and get the outside stuff set up. All right guys, so we're out here on the deck. I think we're gonna go ahead and put the Mr. Cool right here. Give it a lot of space away from that one. None of this is really permanent. This is all really just for testing. Oh God, oh God. So I think it looks pretty good right here. Uh, I don't wanna have to coil the line set a bunch of times. So I was trying to kind of space this thing as far away as I could get it without being in the way. So I think this is probably the pretty good spot for it. And yeah, it's on the deck. I can mount it to the deck. Don't worry about having to put a cement pad or none of that. And I can, I can kind of hide the line set behind everything. And I think that'll look pretty good. So we went ahead and set the unit here. We started on rolling the line set. The Mr. Cool comes with a really long line set, a lot longer than this Amazon special, so. That's it. We're going to try to use as much of the line set as possible, as you can see. The three inch hole is a lot easier to fit all the stuff through than the two and a half we used on the other unit, but that worked perfect too. So I don't know, it's kind of, but it was definitely a lot easier to get this one through. So we got the drain hose attached instead of just a water hose like on the last one, which actually works really well. Go ahead and show them. Look at that water hose. That works perfect. So uh, 
yeah, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and screw the lines on. I have some nylock blue to throw on the threads. I don't think it'll help much in this situation because these are quick connect fittings, but we're gonna throw it on anyways because I have it. So we're gonna go ahead and connect these to that, kind of get all this insulated and wrapped up, and then we're gonna start running the line set to the unit, and that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and get all that knocked out, and I'll show you guys when we're done. I don't know if you're supposed to put this stuff right here, but everyone else did, all the videos I've seen, so we're gonna use it. It's a sealant or something. Yeah, okay. do you guys think we should use it? Reply yes in the comments. Yeah, do you guys think you should use Nylock Blue? Did you use it on your install? Let me know in the comments. Uh, that's, the that's the fat boy. Oh god, I cross-threaded it. Oops. Oh, this is all sticky. <laughs> I don't think this is actually taped though. Right? Yeah, it doesn't seem to stick. No. Maybe you should read the instructions. Yeah, without reading the instructions, I think this is how it's done. Okay. That shit looks like it's made out of rubber bands. No, it's the same stuff they make band-aids out of. It's all medical tape. Oh yeah, band-aids. It's all brown smelly shit. Oh, it's only used band-aids. I love the smell of used band-aids. I like the taste. You ever made band-aid casserole? No. You ever had band-aid bubble gum? Yeah. Just bomb. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right, so as you guys can see, we got the line set ran. We have it just behind the porch right here. I have the wire coming from the indoor unit right here. And I have all the access. Luckily, there's not a whole lot of access. I only had to make one half coil. And that's it from this half core we're just gonna hook it right to the to the outside unit so yeah um, this brick. <laughs> okay yeah i just don't want the line set sitting on the ground at a, at a later point we're gonna go through and i'm gonna make some brackets to hold all the line sets and kind of clean everything up and that's it hopefully no rodents come chew this up we don't really have rodents here, so I don't think it'll be a problem. Okay, now I need a bandage. So... Uh -huh. You know what, I think that other foam was for the for right here. I think you're right. That's fine, I'm gonna have to buy some anyways. All right, guys, just be careful not to cross thread these. They go on pretty pretty easily. And that's it. All right, guys, so that's it. We got the line sets tightened. All we got to do now is release the refrigerant. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these caps off. There's an Allen inside here. We're going to spin that out. It's going to release the refrigerant to the inside unit. And because these are pre-charged or pre-evacuated line sets, you do not have to vacuum the system down. I am going to make sure this cap is tight. And that's it. We're going to do all the wiring and stuff off camera. Make sure you... Get with your know your local code when it comes to wiring these or hire an electrician if you're not feel comfortable doing it yourself you know don't do it haphazardly do it right and all that good stuff but anyways we're gonna go get all the wiring done and then once we get the unit on we're gonna turn it on and show you guys how it works all right guys so we're gonna go and open the gas actually we need to spray this with soap and water too to check for leaks okay. Okay, the first time we've ever turned the unit on. All right, so we have the unit hooked up. Oh, it's freezing, just kidding. All right, guys, so as you guys can see, I got it all sealed up. It doesn't look pretty, still kind of looks whatever, but to be uh, completely honest with y'all, I don't care as long as it functions the way it's supposed to, and I think it will. I did go ahead and spray foam the inside of that pipe really well to seal it, and then I covered everything in UV-resistant tape. I still have to cover this part of the line set, but I just kind of left it for now. And as you can see, it runs along the bottom. I still have to wrap that part of the line set, just haven't got to it yet. I did, however, 3D print some of these uh, little hooks here. This is kind of what they look like. I still have to install this one. 
and that's it and that just kind of helps hold the line set off the ground and uh secures it so it's not just floating around but here's the unit got it completely installed got some nice grommets on the power and the head unit wiring it looks really good i still got to put the screws in the deck i just was making sure this is exactly where this is going to stay i also got all that wrapped up and insulated with foam and like i said i still have to add a little bit of uv tape to the line set but so far this thing's working really well i'm very happy with it it's obviously extremely quiet just like our amazon special is over there but yeah, that's going to do it for the Mr. Cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys have any questions, just let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one.